easy mind easy life so in this one I wanted to share something special that happened with my daughter uh, I'm trying to think year one it was in year one so she would have been seven years old uh, I am constantly learning from her just always you know as much as I think I'm trying to teach her anything <laughs> I'm always learning from her uh, at school one day she got bullied by this uh, she was year one and this other girl was in year five and um, she got intimidated by this girl in year five and the girl wanted her hat right this was the story so because she said to my daughter well I can't go up on the oval with my other friends because I don't have a hat uh, but then my daughter wouldn't be allowed to go outside either because she just gave her her hat, <laughs> right? So she was left without a hat. Anyway, I don't know how it went down, but I can imagine this tiny little girl, because she was always so little like, and skinny, right? And this big girl, because I saw her later, she's quite a big girl. And uh, she gave her the hat, right? Whatever. She gave her the hat. Anyway, the next day I'm getting all her stuff ready, her bag, everything. And I said to her, where's the hat? And she said, oh, you know, she didn't want to tell me. She said, oh, uh, I lost it. And I said, oh, okay, we'll get a new one. That's right, we'll, we'll get a new one. As we're going in the car and I'm taking her to school and uh, I ordered the hat online. And I said to her, what really happened with the hat? Because she never loses anything, right? She's the total opposite of what I was. I used to lose everything at school. I'd take an umbrella, that was it. That was the end of the umbrella. If I had a hat, that was it. It was the end of the hat. I was hopeless at remembering things. But she has a really good memory. She's never lost anything, right? She's amazing. Anyway, I said to her, what really happened with the hat? Because I had a feeling there was something else and she wasn't telling me, right? So, okay. She said to me, oh, this big girl asked me for it. And I said to her, do you know the big girl's name? And she said, yes. So she knew the girl, she knew the girl's name. And I said to her, and what happened? What really happened? So she told me the story. And uh, and I was angry because I thought, she's year five, right? And she's picking on a little one in year one, taking her hat, right? And then my daughter hasn't got a hat now for three or four days till she gets her order. So she won't be allowed to play outside. That's, that's the rule at school. You can't play outside with a hat, right? Anyway, I dropped her off right and I said to my daughter I'm going to go and talk to your teacher and tell her about it. she was like no mum don't don't please don't right and I said to her but I have to because you can't speak up for yourself and I can't expect you to defend yourself against a girl in year five that's twice your size literally twice her size right um this girl was quite tall and big right so I said to her I have to tell your teacher Right? And I have to let her know you don't have a hat now. Ask her if, you know, if you've got a spare or if I can just use a spare one at home, one of those bucket hats that we've got. Anyway, so I went to the teacher and I told her with my daughter next to me, right? And so the teacher asked her, do you know who the girl is? All this blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it turns out that in the next couple of days, she got a hat, right? My daughter got a hat. But then the teacher took her right and they confronted this older girl and so she said to her you know um where is her hat what have you done with it and she said oh she said i left it at home i don't have it here i'll bring it tomorrow said the older girl and the teacher says okay you have to give it back right because it belongs to her and she needs it for school the next day was the day that you know my daughter got her hat and this other girl brought the other hat in. When the teacher took my daughter to the older girl to get her hat back, she said to the older girl, I can't remember the girl's name now. It doesn't matter. She said to her, you can keep it. And the older girl said, why? And she said, because you don't have one. She says, and now I have two. She said, so you have it. You know, when she came home, like the, she didn't tell me. She'd forgotten about all that. The teacher told me the story. And uh, I was uh, I was really blown away <laughs> because I thought, I, not, 
I wouldn't even have been that kind, you know, maybe at that age, because I was different, I probably would have seen things very differently to, you know, after all the experiences I'd had, you know, um, but I was just really blown away at what kindness can do, you know, because from that moment on, that older girl kind of adopted my daughter as <laughs> she had to protect her, you know, like, um, so she was always looking out for her after that, you know. And the following year, of course, then she was off to high school after, you know, she only had a year with her and then she was off. But they formed a beautiful friendship out of that lovely kindness. My daughter could see that she asked her for it because she didn't have one. She needed one. So she just gave it to her because now she had two, you know, uh, and things like that. She does all the time so when things happen with her and sometimes we sit with my husband and we give her advice and then I ask her what do you and especially if she says no I won't do that I ask her well what would you do I always ask her now what would you do and then I sit and I really listen and I think yes that's what love and kindness would do every time you know because it's not about being right it's not about she could see this girl, you know, and later, you know, I found out this girl's from a broken home, you know, um, I looked at her shoes, you know, at the when because my daughter one day introduced her to me and her shoes were all tatty, you know, she looked like she'd been in the same shoes forever. Um, her uniform, you know, it just looked like no one cared, you know, about her. And when I saw her that day, I could see what my daughter saw that day. You know, that um, she needed the hat. You know, it's just beautiful. So, I wanted to share that story because sometimes we look at the bully, you know, and we see just the bully. But we don't see where they're coming from. We don't see the pain, we don't see the hurt inside that's causing them to behave that way. You know, it's creating that that situation, that circumstance, the way they're behaving. We're too busy with the victim. And you see, this was the difference. My daughter didn't see herself as a victim. She saw the opportunity of how she could show love to someone in a world where she wasn't receiving love that girl you could see it in her state you could see it when she looked at you you could see you can see it you can see a child that is loved compared to a child that is not or that feels loved or that knows that they're loved you know there's a difference in the eyes I've been teaching piano now for over 30 years and there's a massive difference I can see it every time a child that is loved child that doesn't feel loved. We all have that choice. We can choose not to be the victim, but to see it as an opportunity of how we can show love and kindness in a moment where another person really, really needs it. All right, my darlings. It was for me, it was just such a beautiful moment. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.